on this week's episode of Medical Mysteries is my head still hurts very much so, very much throbbing every single hour or minute, even if I had to have no. I've been taking three doses every three to four hours the past two days, and it's not working. And I mean, pain, so much pain. So, because of that, I missed my favorite class. As you know, food and nutrition. So, yay! Ten more days of this pain. Even then, I don't know if it's ever gonna get fixed. Well, hopefully. But with my luck, after all, it's been eight years of this medical nonsense. So, here's to the rest of my life. On this week's episode of Medical Mysteries is, I have bronchitis. Who knew I could get myself to have that? I don't think that's possible, but I say it is because it makes me feel better knowing on how I got happy life. On this week's episode of Medical Mysteries is that I have to take a spinal tap. Sorry, do a spinal tap. Then take a water pill, and that's supposed to help with my eye nerves. And hopefully that'll get rid of my headache. I don't know. Um, luckily, my eye nerves weren't so badly damaged to the point where, like, um, my vision could get, like, affected and stuff like that. So it's just mildly swollen. So. On this week's medical day and hiccups is that I got a CAT scan. And a CAT scan with contrast. And they said that the contest was going to make you feel very warm inside. So I was expecting warm, but not like a burning fire sensation. It felt like I was like burning from inside my body. And it felt like my throat was closing up because of this like intense heat. And so... Then I also felt like I peed myself, but I didn't, so that was good. <laughs> I'm so big. On this week's episode of Medical Mysteries is that about uh, probably like a week ago, I stopped taking my water pill. Um, I forgot the name of it, but I know it starts with the D, and I was on that for maybe about like a week and a half, close to two weeks. Kind of forgot it's like all a blur. Um, so the side effects were urinating a lot and tingles in your hands and feet. And to make sure you don't get that feeling is to eat bananas and also like apparently some like orange juice. My mom was researching and I hate orange juice. So I, towards the end of it, we were doing that and I just completely stopped it all. I hate, I hated the fact that I was peeing so much and it's to my, it's really like hurting. Okay, so when I say burning, so it's not a UTI, I know that. Um, and it's just because when you pee so much constantly and it's like sometimes it was like a long stream like normal and then sometimes like majority majority um it was just like a little dribble and it's like you have to go to the bathroom so many times just and it feels like you have to pee so much and that you like can't hold it in but when you finally do it's just like a little droplet and it's like what the heck so i just hated that feeling i stopped it now i'm off of it so now the waiting game is on so yay so basically, it's just all up in the air, and it's like a giant waiting game. And so, for the doctor that prescribed the water pills, he's like, he suggested another one, but the side effects for that one is also, like, bad. Uh, this one's more, like, it causes, like, mood swings, and I'm already on, like, Lexapro, and then, like, this, this like, other medicine called lactamental or something, I don't know, and it's just, like, to help, like, even out the mood swings, it's, uh, I don't know, 
basically that would like throw that off and that would make this whole giant process of like going through that and it's like really not worth it and to be honest i don't know if that would like actually fix my headaches and because if it is like how long can i be on it like i don't think you can be on that maybe i don't know so basically um i have not i'm not taking any medication besides just my normal lexapro and lament Dull, I believe it's called. I think it, I got it right. This is good. Those two and I'm dying. Um, so now what's the next step is that my mom wanted to check, check if I had Ellers Dan syndrome with, you know, the scratchy skin and stuff. Um, so we literally like two days ago, I think. Yeah, two days ago. I'm, um, no, not two days ago, sorry. Monday, oh, my brain can't remember anything. So Monday we went to this PT who's like specializes, not specializes, like it's more in depth PT than your typical like normal pediatric uh, PT. And she was like saying like, well, you kind of like maybe don't have it. So you kind of want to go back to your, uh, uh, what's the word? It's the geneticist. Uh, so we want to go back to that just like to do more testing and something. So we have to schedule that appointment. And then I'm having PT on this Thursday, basically, which is October. Today's the 11th, 12th, 13th. Yeah, October 13th. My brain can't do math. Um, so for that and that also just helped like make my limbs stronger and stuff because like my bones are like old and like creaky and just like it's not good as I get older your bones start to like rub against each other more and my bones feel just like you know it's just so many problems with me to also help with my back because my back is in so much pain i can still get up and do things but like i don't know it's like it's always been a problem because i have really bad joints and stuff like that and i overextend in the elbows i've always done that you know i've done gymnastics so um nothing relating to that it's just like i've always noticed when i was younger when we would do stretching um and like stuff like that, I would notice my elbows would go like farther than other people. And like someone pointed it out to me and was like, oh, like, got it. Okay, that's what I have. As for that part of my body, it's just more of like, let's see what she offers and like what like exercises I can do to help my body and stuff. So on that side, it's somewhat also basically a wedding game and for my head now we have to do um go back to like a neurologist because the mind obviously like won't do more because he can't like look at the brains inside of my head because of the cat scan with the uh it contrast was to like physically look inside my brain the veins in my brain just to see around my eyes and stuff basically that's why like i have like blood vessels are like big apparently so we have an appointment with the new neurologist at emory um for january 26th at 7 30 2023 i'm very impatient as you can tell, but especially with the headaches. And luckily this person specializes like in headaches, so she can hopefully give me like some answers. And if not, maybe like, I don't know, something to do with it. Like, I don't really know, to be honest. So for me, the last stitched effort is Botox and my like temple because i heard that if you have like really bad like headaches you can get botox in your head obviously to like make it be less painful or like to get rid of it or something I haven't looked really in depth to that so it's just very annoying because with this it's always hitting a giant roadblock and we were so close to being done with this like eight year process of 
pain and the exhaustion. Not with the headaches, but like just in general. Because August 28th, 2014, the reason why I say that is because I had a surgery. And that surgery was to bring my top jaw forward. Because I have like a really bad like anger bite. And just because of my cleft lip and palate, and that's just like a whole giant process to get into. So, yeah, if I ever write a bur- bleh, words, if I ever write a book, I'm using this highlight reel so that I can remember shit because my brain can't remember anything. I'll be under senior year, the highlights, and I would put a new category but it's just because it happened in my senior year when I was of course <laughs> not anymore um just because you know I was too lazy and also I felt like why not you know let's say if I do make it out of life um I can say like hey I did graduate <laughs> But life is going to be over.